Fathers, what is the best way you have messed with a daughter's boyfriend when meeting him? I was the boyfriend. Her dad challenged me to a game of chess and lost horribly. Afterwards, he took me to the man cave and proceeded to try to beat me at pool and video games. He lost terribly. I kind of felt bad afterwards, but at the time, it felt good. My then-girlfriend could only laugh at us being competitive and trying to beat each other in games. I'm still the ex-boyfriend he would rather her date, despite her and I not talking but once every two years. My sister's first real boyfriend was from about three hours away, and she brought him to the house for the first time without telling us they were coming. My father and I had no intention of messing with him. Due to some poor planning on my sister's part, they showed up on the Saturday before the start of the hunting season. At the time, my father and I were sighting in the hunting rifles up the field around 500 yards. Completely unintentional, but if I'd been in his shoes, I would have crapped myself. I'm a daughter, and I do not have any funny father stories, but I do have one badass mum story. My house has the front door on the second floor, and our front steps are large and can be intimidating. All friends are required to come inside and introduce themselves before I could get in their car and leave with them. So I had a date with a popular boy, douchebag, and he texted me that he was there to pick me up and to come outside. I told him that he has to come and meet my parents, and he did, although awkwardly and rudely. Long story short, he was incredibly disrespectful towards me, and I was back home within 30 minutes. Later that evening, my mother messaged him on Facebook. You are the rudest boy to ever walk up the steps to my house. Shortly after, I got a large apology text from the boy. My mother didn't tell me about the message she sent until at least six months later. It was awesome. (laughs) Oh, well done, mum. Dads may be able to bring the threats, but this lady weaponized some good old-fashioned shame. I have one my dad did. I had the first boyfriend come over, I was 14, for Halloween, and my dad, a butcher, was unwrapping bones for our three dogs as a treat. My boyfriend walked over to my dad, who was using a knife, a great big one, to cut the shrink wrap off them, and asked what those bones were from. My dad, looking boyfriend dead in the eye, pulled a sharpening steel out of the bucket on the counter and sharpened the blade on the already sharp knife in swift movements, and said, My daughter's old boyfriend. Boyfriend went sheet white and dumped me the next day. Thanks, Dad. Not a father, but my cousin has the best story about a first and last date. In the late 70s, my uncle was living a post-divorce bachelor life and was enjoying himself immensely, dating a younger woman who from a distance or behind resembled my cousin enough that they could be mistaken for one another and if standing near each other, you might assume they were sisters. While he was dating this woman, my cousin, all of 16 at the time, was going on her first real date dinner. A school dance, the works. My uncle was slightly apprehensive about it, but was determined to make the best of the situation and accept the fact that his little girl was growing up. A few minutes before she had to be picked up, my uncle was struck by inspiration. He and his girlfriend were also going out to dinner that night, and he noticed that his daughter and his girlfriend were wearing the identical sweaters. So he sprung into action. He made his girlfriend give her necklace to his daughter, had them swap shoes, and put paper bags over their heads. When my cousin's date walked up, he was warmly greeted by uncle, who ushered him into the living room and said, We're all going out tonight. You pick your date, and I'll take the other. The kid, speechless, stammered for a bit, and then pointed. My cousin went out on a very fancy dinner date with her father to a French bistro, despite being terribly mortified. She admits that the food was exceptional, and her father let her have a few glasses of wine to ease the mortification. After dinner, he dropped her off at the dance and picked up his girlfriend. Let's just say neither woman was happy, and my cousin's paramour, so confused by the situation, decided it was time to end their relationship. I aspire to achieve such heights of mind messery. I feel like that could have been kind of funny if it ended with the choice. Like, ha ha ha, all in good fun, kid. Here, take the daughter out. Thanks for being a good sport. But to actually make him go through with taking out the other girl? The frick, man? I was the daughter. Boyfriend and I were sitting in my kitchen when dad came home from playing volleyball. After talking a few minutes without any warning, dad dropped his pants. Thankfully, he had gym shorts on underneath. I told this story at dad's funeral, and it got a lot of laughs. Was the boyfriend. Wanted to take girlfriend on a date, but she said her dad had to meet me first. He was a single dad, so it's not like her mum would have been there to hold him back or anything, and dude was pretty buff. 
My girlfriend goes in her room while her dad sits me down on the couch and sits across from me, not saying a word, but looking straight into my eyes the whole time. 15-year-old me was pretty shaken. He finally says, I'm gonna make this short. Anything you do to my daughter, I'm going to do to you. We just held hands that day. That's when you reply, you're gonna finger my butt? I'm Korean. I play StarCraft. He's going to have to beat me on the Hunter's map to get permission for the first date. Yes. Old school Brood War StarCraft. I fully respect this method of proving oneself to a prospective father-in-law. After all, it's potentially the scenario I'm most likely to succeed in. Boyfriend of a girl with two dads. I've yet to meet her real father and she doesn't want me to. He's a huge crap bag that cheated on her mum and then fled across the country. Her stepdad I see on a somewhat regular basis. He's a character and that's for sure. We told our parents about our relationship about two to three weeks ago and the first thing he does is shake my hand with a grip that's way too hard for normal and then takes me aside and asks what my intention is with his daughter. While asking this, he's gripping his hand around my neck. It should be noted, I'm a big kid. I'm six foot one and like 200 pounds. I'm not easily intimidated. At that moment, this man scared the crap out of me. As I was trying to muster up an answer, he drops his hand and hugs me and tells me he's messing with me and that I should have seen my face. Needless to say, she doesn't like him much either. Boyfriend of a girl with two dads. At first I thought this meant she has same-sex parents, which meant you had to put up with twice as many dad jokes. I'm the boyfriend in this situation. Was at my girlfriend's house, her dad saw me, walked up to me and said, Who the frick are you? and then proceeded to follow me around, practically touching my face with his until I left. Fortunately, he was electronically tagged and couldn't follow me out of the house. Just FYI, he was tagged for sticking up for kids being beaten up by other men. So I want to give a bit more context to this. I went to my girlfriend's house to pick her up. She wasn't ready, so I went outside. While we were on our way out, he made his comment and then followed me out of the house, obviously looking me up and down while remaining uncomfortably close. This possibly lasted about 20 seconds. This wasn't an aggressive thing, he did it purely to make me feel awkward and on the spot. I think he wanted to see what type of guy I was, how I would react to that sort of confrontation, etc. According to my girlfriend, her ex-boyfriends resembled mouthy kids. Perhaps her dad was testing my level of maturity. I can't say for sure, never asked him about it. Hope this explains things a little better. When I brought my first real boyfriend home for dinner for the first time, I forgot to mention that my dad was also home for dinner. He's a policeman and comes home for meals, so we rock up and there's a police car in the driveway. It's normal for me, but my boyfriend's face was literally, uh uh-oh. My dad always calls my boyfriend's what's-his-face until he gains respect for the guy. My current boyfriend just recently got his name privilege, which has happened, I think, twice. I made up a game. I call them by a different name every time I address them. Goal is to see how many times I can call them before they correct me. Record is 27 in one visit. My poor paw greeted my aunt's boyfriend with a single gunshot out the front door, into the old gutted truck about 20 yards away from the main driveway. He still fires off a greeting shot when they come in and out from town 17 years later. To expand, a poor paw is a grandfather if your country is F. My poor paw is half Japanese, half Native American former US Marine, sheriff and EMT, current Etsy scarf and shawl shop owner. I'm trying to decide if that sounds more West Virginia or Alabama. Louisiana, don't you forget it. My daughter just turned eight. I am here for notes. Opens notepad. Begin. Welcome, new dad. Well, the rule seems to be threaten or imply violence, and if you own a weapon of some kind, so much the better. Narrator and the I Am The Genius channel does not condone this method. My daughters are two and four. When my oldest was born, I started working out again. I found the best inspiration on days when I'm feeling lazy is to imagine myself as some nearly mythical titan ripping the door off its hinges to greet some poor kid intent on taking my daughter on a date. So my plan is long term and I'll check back and let you all know how it goes. My dad has told every single one of the guys I've brought home, even if they were just friends, that he's not afraid to go back to jail. My dad has never been to jail. My dad is very good at deadpanning. Upon meeting my boyfriend, dad told him that he was too tall. He's almost seven foot. He wasn't sure if my dad was messing with him or was actually serious. I had to explain to him later that a good portion of what my dad says should be taken with a grain of salt. I was the boyfriend in this case, but this one has always stuck with me. Everyone knows the old dad is cleaning his gun cliche. Well, this is a slightly different version of that. He was polishing a sledgehammer. 
It turned out he was actively just screwing with me and didn't care, but I had to give him credit for creativity and for leaving me at an absolute loss when I walked into their living room and saw the gleam from the shiny hammer. Not a father, but if I have a daughter, I want to dress like a clown and say, Well, I'm off to work. These are the ones I like. It's funny, but at the same time, you're not threatening a kid. 10 out of 10. We hosted a beautiful teenage exchange student for a year. When a boy came to take her to a dance, I looked down at him and said, in roughly these words, I am responsible for her right now, but her real father is even bigger than me, and you don't want to do anything that would tee off both of us. I went to tell my new father-in-law that I was serious with his daughter and intended to marry her. He interpreted it as me asking for his permission and told me, now isn't the right time. Maybe in a few years. That really messed me up. Good guy. Language barrier. It all worked out in the end. Daughter here. First time I bring my boyfriend to my hometown, we visit my parents. My mum tries to stuff him with food while my dad excitedly describes the great deal he got on my sister's new car. My boyfriend comes to join me in the middle of this and my dad stops, looks him dead in the eye and excitedly says, Want to see something cool? We are greeted with a picture of my dad when he was 21, buff, shirtless, and flexing. I begin to cover my face in embarrassment as my dad looks excitedly at my boyfriend for a response. My boyfriend simply says, Uh, you look good, man. Pretty sure my dad did this to embarrass me instead of mess with my boyfriend, but did put him in a pickle for a second there. My boyfriend now makes jokes about how hot my dad is, just to embarrass me more. I call this the worst first date experience thanks to my dad. I moved to a new school in the third grade and fell in elementary love with a boy wearing those pants that unzip to reveal shorter pants, or shorts. It was not until the fifth grade, after endless diary entries and tampered with mash outcomes, that my crush finally asked me out on a date. My dad immediately said no and I sobbed. I sobbed and sobbed until my mother talked my dad into letting me go. The only problem was, he was coming too. I decided not to tell my crush that my father would be attending the date with us, but instead pretended to be just as confused as he was that an older man was sitting directly behind us during the movie. The movie was Just Married. My poor crush tried to put his arm around me, and I felt my face flush as a voice from behind us said, You want to keep that arm? My father laughs to this day about how far we were leaning away from each other after that, and is very pleased with himself that he ended my affectionate advances. What my dad doesn't know is that we kissed every recess after that date until our terribly dramatic breakup on the soccer field. One thing I will say seriously for a second here is that if you try and forbid your kid from interacting with the opposite gender, they will generally find a way. These kids are thankfully a little young to get into real trouble, but I genuinely feel like rebellious teens will go further than they might have gone otherwise just to get back at their overbearing parents. Boyfriend, now husband. I came over to meet her extended family for Thanksgiving, sat down next to her uncle. He looks over at me and says, I'm gay, you know, and stares at me. I replied with, Me too, and moved closer to him, practically sat on his lap. I like this guy. Been married to her for two years and been together for eight years now. Her family is hilarious. My wife's aunt is very outgoing, playful, and loves to party and drink, and mess with the boyfriends. The first time I met her, she was already drunk and got very handsy with me. She'd put her arm around my shoulder and pull me in tight, kiss my cheek, push my face towards her cleavage, etc., She was trying to make me squirm. She says, I got a hot tub out back. Why don't you and I go for a dip? And I, uncharacteristically, shot back with, Well, I didn't bring my swimsuit. Would you mind if we just hop in naked, just the two of us? She busted up laughing and ever since, always jokingly refers to me as her boyfriend and tells my wife to back off of me, that I'm hers, etc. I was told I passed the test that evening. It was like being jumped into a gang, but instead I was molested by the drunk and crazy aunt of the family. They're a fun family as well. I was the boyfriend. My girlfriend warned me that her dad liked to be sitting in his chair, cleaning his shotgun, whenever one of the girls brought a boy to meet the parents. She told me that the gun was a relic and had been disabled or deactivated or some damn thing. Don't remember the exact term. She said he was real proud of it and said it was a Springfield something or other. So I walked in and there he was. I said, hey, nice Springfield something or other, and asked if I could hold it. He handed it to me and I looked at it and said, when did you have it deactivated? The girls who were all watching smiled. He wasn't amused, especially after he started a discussion about guns and it was clear I didn't know anything about them. He eventually figured out that she warned me and he was none too pleased at how bold I was. I just thought it was funny. 
That was the start of a long and rocky relationship with that man. Much to his dismay, I married his daughter. Now that I'm the dad, I grill the boyfriends about what my daughter has told them about me and her mother. My being a forensic investigator is not something my daughters usually lead with, I have found. And my comments about knowing how to make it look accidental are usually met with some level of clenching. Brother to the sister that brought him home. My old man wrote his name on a 12-gauge shell and set it on the mantel above the fireplace and said nothing. It was about halfway through dinner before he noticed it. I've never seen a face get so white so quick in all my life. They're married now. Shell is still sitting there. Was the boyfriend. Walked into the cleaning the guns gag. He asked, what are your intentions with my daughter? And without missing a beat, because sometimes I lack a filter, I replied, depends. What do you think I can get away with? Her mother laughed so hard she dropped a glass and broke it. Mine was. That depends how she feels about rubber chickens and tapioca. This wasn't my dad, but my brother. I brought my boyfriend home for a week over the summer. We're in college and live in separate states. We're not at school. And I was very excited for him to meet my family. I had already met his, and they were pretty cool. My parents were very nice and normal to him, but when we sat down for dinner that night, my brother, who was two years younger than me, came downstairs, chatted normally for a bit, then said, Wait here. He runs up to his room and comes back down about five minutes later with a stack of papers and a pen and sets it down in front of my boyfriend. It's a quiz. It was a quiz. A literal quiz that he had typed out. He made him put his name and the date and everything. The questions were divided into three categories, sports, music, and movies. They were all things my brother considered vital for my boyfriend to know if he ever wanted to truly belong to the family. My boyfriend, being the cool guy that he is, took it all in stride and only got about two wrong on the whole 30 questions quiz, with no preparation or studying at all. My family was suitably impressed, and he's around a year and a half later. The following story just had too many little anecdotes about the father in question, so bear with me. Am the daughter. Dad and his best friends dressed up in speedos, mowed the lawn, barbecued, held hands, sang horribly off-key together, and nicknamed the poor soul McBig Mac. He stopped hanging out with me after that. Dad and his best friends still do weird stuff together like this, and they are my favorite people. Oh, dad and his best friends are hilariously straight. But hey, you can't really be considered best friends if people don't think you're a little gay, right? I'm intrigued as to how you can be hilariously straight. You sleep with clowns of the opposite sex. What the F? Oh, where can I get a dad that funny? Well, he likes to show up at the mall in grass skirts, coconut bras, and a siren light on his head, but only when you have boys around. I'm willing to sell mine. Uh, The first post, I thought, boy, he's silly. Now I'm thinking maybe he's not all there. The first time I met my ex's dad, he had just had surgery. I think I was 15 at the time, and while I was waiting for her, he asked me if I would go into the study and put on some music and make him a drink. I got him a single Jameson with one ice cube, because that's what my Irish family members drank, and I knew he was Hibernian, and put on a Fleetwood Mac record because he had an awesome player set up. That was him testing me, apparently. He told me later that I passed because I didn't just plug in my phone into their auxiliary cord and grab him a beer. I hung out with him once, way later after his daughter and I had broken up, and he ordered me a Jameson with a single ice cube on his way out of the bar. I was the boyfriend. I wanted to take my girlfriend out to see a movie, but she said that I had to meet her dad first. Her dad runs the local farmer's market, so I had to stop by that morning. Luckily, it was winding down because after an awkward hello, he put his hand on my shoulder and led me around and introduced me to everyone at all the stands. Now, for an introvert such as myself, this would have been bad enough. But no, as he was introducing me to everyone, he used random female names for me. Hi there, so-and-so, this here's Stephanie and he's taken my daughter on her first date. Hi guys, meet Martha, he's taken my daughter out. It was kind of funny afterwards. I had a boyfriend named Nelson. My dad took great pleasure in doing Nelson's laugh from The Simpsons whenever my boyfriend came over. We didn't last long, lol. Pretty sure you mean, we didn't last long, (laughs) ha ha. Beat him up in Battlefield and a few other video games. I'm almost 50 and have been a gamer since my early teens. I have more experience with games than he has. A mate was arrested for drug possession by his girlfriend's police officer father. He was going to be introduced to that family that weekend anyway. Would have loved to have been a fly on the wall that evening. Boyfriend. Hello, future father-in-law. First of all, I want to apologize for my twin brother. He is the black sheep of the family and in no way representative of my or my parents' values and culture. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories, linked at the top of the description. 
And if you like Am I the Genius, give Am I the Jerk a shot. Linked in the description too. Either way, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.